Hello friends, welcome to this investment banking tutorial from Wall Street Mojo. Now you know well how this field of investment banking opens wide array of careers. But when you're interestingly seeking an investment banking career, there is something more important for you to explore. Yes, the hierarchy involving different levels. It starts with an analyst, then you move to an associate level, then you become vice president and then finally managing director. So let's now look at how these roles and responsibilities are performed within an investment bank. Let's take an example. Let's say there is a KKK investment bank and if you look at an investment bank, you'll have these different positions. One of them would be called as an associate, there would be a team of analysts, then we'll have a couple of vice presidents and there are a couple of managing directors as well. So what is the role of each and every one within an investment bank? Let's talk about the bottom of the hierarchy chain that is the analyst. So what is the typical profile for an analyst looks like? So analyst is someone basically whose main role is to create financial models, do company analysis, do some hardcore data punching. So something like create a model from scratch, populate the historicals, do some industry research, perform some due diligence and create pitch books as well. So essentially being an analyst is all about getting your hands dirty. Someone who is a graduate, let's say in history or maybe uh, in finance is eligible for this kind of a job. Now let's look at who is an associate. An associate's primary role is basically to check the work of the analyst. So they're one level up over and above the analyst. So that's why they are called as an associate. They write text for the presentations. They basically oversee the job of an analyst and they also sometimes interact with clients as well as the other investment banks as well who are presenting the other side of the party or the client. So they may interact with the client but a lot of work is also needs to be done in terms of financial analysis as an associate. So think of spending at least four or five years after you join an investment bank as an associate before you become someone called as a vice president. Now, who is a vice president? Obviously, we are moving up the hierarchy, moving up the professional chain. So a vice president would be overlooking the analysts and the associates. But what is the key role? Now, think of vice president as a project manager. When we talk about investment banks, investment banks have to make a lot of client presentations and handle different kinds of verticals. Vice president is someone who is handling a certain side of a project. He handles the structure of the presentation before going for the meeting, how it should be looked like, design of a pitch book, etc. So all these things have to be managed and he also talks to senior investment bankers and the analysts and the associate. So all in all, he's one of the most important guys within an investment bank just below the final level that is called as managing director. So now let's look at what's the role of managing director in an investment bank. Managing director is basically someone like a father figure who everyone, every other person in the bank, you know, looks up to. Now his responsibility is to develop and cultivate relationships. Assume that the managing director is highly networked, would be attending conferences, would be meeting clients, debating and discussing things about valuations and uh, going to high level meetings. Managing directors may focus on one industry and uh, kind of develop relationships with the management. And obviously his primary role is to bring business to the company. So he's the one who is at the top and is handling the part where sales of business comes for the investment bank. Let's check out the structure of an investment bank in the next lecture. Stay tuned. today's discussion, a big thank you to everyone who tuned in from the Wall Street Mojo team. But hold on, the financial adventure continues. The next episode unfolds on Tuesday and we're super excited about what's in store. Make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on the financial insights coming your way. Until next time, this is the Wall Street Mojo team signing off. Stay informed, stay engaged, and stay Wall Street Mojo awesome.